We're at Piscataway National Park today at the Colonial Farm portion of the park. Um, this is the visitor center right here. Very nice. You can go inside and get water and bait if you wanted to do fishing. Right now we're taking a tour of the farm portion of the Colonial Farm. Now, um, there are a lot of different animals out here. There's chickens. They've they have sheep. This is a, a circa 1770 colonial farmhouse. It, it was relocated here. Um, it's set up to look like what it would have been like in the 1770s. Colonial Farm has a lot of different stuff with multiple gardens and multiple nature chores to walk, trails to walk around on. This is the behind the house. Um, there was uh, gardens there. Over here there were some different animals. Lots of chickens running around everywhere. Now, um, right here would have been the, the the, the kitchen because you don't have the kitchen attached to the house back then <sighs> right here we have a barn that was also relocated I think it's a barn from the 1800s not quite as early as the the farmhouse it was a tobacco drying barn right up there you would dry the tobacco and then he would put the tobacco in those barrels for sale. Um, right here is one of the two piers. Um, they're wonderful places to put kayaks. Um, very, very nice. Now, Akakeek Farms is located across the river from Mount Vernon, which is straight ahead of you. Um, this, all this land was purchased, or helped purchase by Mount Vernon to keep the views from Mount Vernon um, beautiful. Um, and then the federal government came in and stepped in. This is one of the picnic areas, very nice picnic area. Um, this up, up ahead next is the second pier. You're allowed to go fishing here. There's also a second kayak launching ramp from here. I would suggest you do the buddy system with two people doing the kayaks because it is a little bit of a far walk. 